In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a practice exam using knowledge check questions, but also include your own results slide. So this video was inspired by one of my clients, Patty, who asked if there was a way that you could keep track of knowledge checks and, and relay that information to the learner. And it inspired me to think about ways that other users could use the same workflow. And I thought of the idea of having a practice quiz before your final quiz, but without having it impact the quiz results slide. And of course, knowledge checks are a good question slide type that would allow you to do that. But of course, there's no results slide that reports the results of your knowledge check. So we're essentially going to build our own today. So as you can see here, I've got uh, just sort of a mock project set up and I've set up pretty much everything I need, including a, a bunch of questions that we're going to ask our learners here. So the first thing we're going to need is we're going to need to keep track of some variables that we will use to store this information that we can subsequently display on a result slide. So to do that, we need to set up some variables. I'm going to go ahead and click on the project drop down menu and select variables. And I'm going to click on add new. And the first one we're going to call percent correct. We don't need to give it an initial value. We'll just go ahead and hit save. We're also going to need to keep track of the total number of knowledge checks. So I'm going to call this one total possible KC. And we also need to keep track of which knowledge checks were successful and which ones were not successful. So we'll call this KC underscore fail and KC underscore success. Okay, so those are all the variables that we're going to need. So I'm going to go ahead and hit close. And on our title slide, we're going to give learners the ability to start this project over when we do reach the end. So on our title slide, we're going to need to reset a couple of these variables in case they want to make another attempt. So I'm going to create an on enter advanced action here. We haven't created any advanced actions yet. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the folder icon and we're going to call this reset kc variables and this will run on enter of this slide very simply we're going to assign knowledge check fail with the literal value of zero and we're also going to assign knowledge check success also with the literal value of zero we can save this as an action click ok and click close. And of course, now that's run when we arrive on slide number one. Now let's look at one of our knowledge check questions here. So here's our first question. Who is the Prime Minister of Canada? If you've watched any of my videos before, you probably already know the answer to this one here. What we need to create is an advanced action for each of the success and failure possibilities for each question. It'll be the same advanced action over and over again for all the knowledge check questions that we're going to use in our practice exam. So let's go ahead and start to write the advanced actions. We're going to click on the project drop down menu and select advanced action. So for the first one, we'll call this KC underscore correct. And this is a very simple advanced action. We're simply going to increment our KC underscore success variable by a value of one each time a learner gets one of these questions correct. And then we're simply going to go to next slide. So I'm going to go ahead and save that as an action. Click OK. And now we're going to create a new advanced action for the not successful version of this. The easiest way to do that is we're just going to duplicate this existing one and we'll call it KC underscore incorrect. In this case, we're going to increment not the success variable, but the fail variable by a value of one and still go to next slide. 
So we'll update that action, click OK, and click Close. And actually, one of the really cool things about Adobe Captivate is I can select all of the quiz questions that I'm using in this particular case, and I can instantly apply those advanced actions to the on success action and the last attempt action. So in this case here, for our first and subsequent multiple choice questions, we're going to say on success. We're going to execute advanced actions and choose the KC correct. We're giving them only one try. You might have to modify this a little bit if you were giving them multiple tries, but this is just a simple one, one and done type quiz question. And then in the event that they don't successfully answer this question, we're going to execute advanced actions and we're going to run the incorrect advanced action. So now we can move down to what will become our knowledge check results slide. And we need to do some calculations because we've gathered all the data from our quiz questions that are going to be for our practice exam, but we need to calculate some of these pieces of information that we're going to display on screen. So we're going to go into actions. We're going to execute advanced actions. It obviously selects one of the advanced actions that we've already created, but don't worry, we'll change that in a few moments. So I'm going to click on advanced actions here. We're going to click on the plus icon to make sure we're creating a new advanced action. And in this case, we're going to call this results underscore calculations. And we're going to use a command or an action in Adobe Captivate called expression. Expression allows us to do calculations here. So we're going to select total possible knowledge checks. And we're going to say equals the variable fail plus the variable for success. So in other words, it's going to give us the total number of knowledge checks. I could simply assign this knowing that I have five, but what's cool about this is that if I add an additional question, this will automatically calculate the new total. The next action is also going to be an expression. So we're going to choose that and we're going to choose percent correct is going to be equal to the variable knowledge check success divided by the variable for total possible knowledge checks. Now this is going to give us a fraction, a zero point something result. So we're going to need to work with this percent correct value a little bit more here. And we can do that with another expression command. So we'll choose that and we'll say percent correct is going to be equal to percent correct times the literal value of 100. Now, in most cases, this will work fine. It will say 60% or 70% in a nice, simple, whole number. But depending on the number of successful knowledge check questions versus the total possible knowledge checks, you might end up with a crazy long fraction, you know, like 62.57436 or something like that. And we can use a little snippet of JavaScript to fix that here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add one more command here. We're going to execute JavaScript. We're going to open up our little script window here, and we're going to type in the following window dot CP API interface dot set variable value and parentheses quote and we need to actually use the variable name that we're going to use in this case here. Let me make sure I'm choosing the right value underscore percent underscore correct closing quote comma math dot floor and our variable again percent underscore correct parentheses parentheses 
and semicolon. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And we want to run that in the current window. And we're all set here. So I'm going to save this as an action. Click OK. And we're safe to close this now. So when we arrive on this slide, we want to make sure that we're running that results calculation script. And what we need to do to make this work is to populate this results page with the appropriate variables. So in this first example here, total knowledge check questions, we're going to click on that. We're going to use the insert variable button in our properties inspector. And from here, we can choose the user variables that we've created. In this case here, the total knowledge check questions is total possible KC. And length is 50. That's fine. And that's going to populate there. Here, we're going to put in the total correct. So again, click the insert variable item. And we'll choose, uh, in this case, KC success. OK. The incorrect ones, we'll add that as well. KC fail. And then the final piece is to include the percentage that's been calculated here. So we're going to choose percent correct. And because this is a percentage, we're just going to put a little space and put the percent symbol there. And we should be good to go. And on this slide too, we'll give the lear learners the ability to restart this, which again, will take them back to slide one which of course will reset our variables and allow them to make another attempt. So I think we're good to go here. Let's click on preview HTML5 in browser. So we'll go ahead and hit begin. Who is the prime minister of Canada? We'll get some right, we'll get some wrong just to see uh, what the result is here. Uh, what electoral district does the prime minister represent? What political party does the prime minister represent? I'll say, get that wrong. What year did the current prime minister become prime minister? Get that one right. Who is the deputy prime minister? We'll also get that one right as well. So now we see here, our total knowledge check questions is five. We got three correct. We got two incorrect and therefore 60%. Let's restart and do this once more. This time we'll get it 100% correct. Justin Trudeau, Papineau, Liberal, 2015, and Christian Freeland. There we go. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.